So we have a lot of people that reach out to us asking about all the different condos that we have here in the Destin for Walton Beach area. And one of the places that a lot of people seem to ask about is the Palms of Destin Resort and Conference Center. So I figured I'll just put together a video and tell you about the pros and cons of the Palms of Destin. So stick around. Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Durham with the Whittemore Group at EXP Realty right here in the Destin for Walton Beach area. If this is your first time to our channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap on that bell just so you're notified each time we do a new video because we wouldn't want you to miss out on all the information that we give you about the Destin for Walton Beach area. So if you're getting ready to relocate here and you want as much information as you possibly can, feel free to reach out to us here at the Whittemore Group. You could give us a phone call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or however you need to get a hold of us. We got you covered when you're relocating here to the Destin for Walton Beach area. All right, so the pros and cons of the Palms of Destin Resort and Conference Center. Well, let's go ahead and kick it off with the pros. So number one, there are three swimming pools for everyone to be able to enjoy. There's a large, awesome lagoon style pool. There's a kiddie pool for the little ones to enjoy. And there's also a heated pool for those of you that don't like the cold lagoon style pool. And as a bonus, there's also a hot tub uh, for everyone to sit and relax and enjoy. Number two, there are several amenities at the Palms. There's a playground for the kiddos. There's a fitness center for those of you that don't want to miss a day of working out. There's a basketball court, a tennis court. There's an on-site restaurant for you to sit and order out. And there's a bar in there as well. And there's also a coffee bar for those of you that don't like to miss out on your regular dose of coffee. Number three, owners are allowed to have pets at the Palms. So those of you that were looking to purchase a unit and you're curious about whether or not they allow pets, obviously you don't want to leave your loved one behind, your furry loved one. Uh, so just know that you are allowed to have your pets at as long as you're an owner at the Palms. Of course, service animals are welcome as well. But just know that there are some restrictions, so make sure you check into that before you actually make your purchase. And number four, the Palms of Destin is located in a great area. I mean, it's surrounded by several other restaurants. There's lots of entertainment around and there's lots of shopping opportunities as well. Uh, if you're looking for something to do with a family nearby, you can check out the track where you can ride on go-karts and bumper cars. And there's an arcade in there as well. If you want some water fun, but don't necessarily feel like going to the beach, there's Big Kahuna's Water Park, a great outdoor adventure for you and the family to enjoy. Don't forget the sunscreen. And there's also uh, the Destin Commons. If you are down for some shopping while you're in the area, there's a lot of restaurants out there too. If you need to take a break from all the shopping, or if you just want to sit down and check out a movie, get out of the sun, there's also the AMC Movie Theater located at the Destin Commons as well. And number five, there are complimentary shuttles that take you to and from the beach. So if you don't feel like driving or you just have too much stuff and you don't feel like packing it up, just go ahead and catch one of the shuttles. It'll take you just a few minutes away and get catch a ride out to the beach. All right, so now let's get into the cons because I'm sure we know that not every place is going to be absolutely 100% perfect. As number one, the Palms of Destin is not a beachfront hotel. Now, although you may be able to see some of the beach from one of the higher floors, uh, you're not exactly right on the beach to where you can go downstairs through the lobby and outside right onto the sand. That's not the case. Uh, you will have to drive or maybe uh, take a bit of a walk or catch the shuttle to get over to the beach. And con number two, some of the units at the Palms don't have the greatest views. Uh, so although you might see in some pictures, you can have all these balconies that overlook the lagoon style pool. Uh, on the other side of that, there's also a lot of uh, balconies that overlook the parking lot of the shopping center next door. So it's not as fun and exciting to, to sit out there and look at the parking lot, but just want to make sure that you are aware that uh, you, even though it is a resort style hotel, you might not have those luxurious views from your balcony. And number three, although some of the rooms are advertised as two bedrooms, that second bedroom isn't exactly what you would think it would be. They are very, very small. There's no windows and the closet is actually where they have the washer and dryer. Uh, so you would be kind of cramped in there. It's more so maybe more suitable for smaller children or smaller people. Uh, there's some units where they'll have a bunk crammed into that little room or maybe one bed and that one bed or full size or queen size is gonna take up pretty much a majority of the room wall to wall. You have to cut through there to get to the second bathroom as well. So just know that when you think you are booking a two bedroom unit or if you're purchasing a two bedroom unit, um, that second bedroom isn't exactly a full bedroom if you know what I mean. 
Number four, there's a long walk to and from the parking garage. Uh, although there is ample of parking, it's still quite of a distance to walk to your room. So those of you that have a lot of bags to carry or if you have a lot of small children and you have to carry them or push them in the stroller, uh, it can be a bit of a hassle because of the distance that you have to walk. And there's also not enough disabled parking from what I hear from some of the reviews. So a lot of the um, people that that use a disabled parking won't even get the opportunity to, to park there because they're all taken. They would have to use the parking garage and unfortunately walk that bit of a distance as well. So just be aware that although there is a parking garage, you're going to have to have a bit of a walk to get to your building. And there's an east building, a west building. So um, either way you go, the parking garage is separate on the other side of the main entrance. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to get a hold of a luggage cart once you're checking out or be able to park up front so you're not carrying all your bags and belongings too far, uh, especially here in the summer heat. And number five, if you are looking to purchase a unit at the Palms, just know that financing can be a little tricky. So if you are looking to use a conventional loan, uh, unfortunately conventional financing is not available at the Palms. However, there is a list of lenders, local lenders available that will be glad to assist you when it comes to financing your unit if you're not paying cash or have other financing options available. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I'm sure there are more pros and cons, but I just wanted to give you the, the ones that I hear about the most from other guests and other owners and people that are very familiar with the Palms. If you have any questions or want to know more, feel free to leave us a comment below. Don't forget to like and share this video with anyone you know that may be interested in the Palms of Destin uh, Resort and Conference Center. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and tap that bell just so you're notified the next time we do a new video. Again, I'm Stephanie Durham with the Widowmore Group at EXP Realty, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.